Hey guys, this is Apodix with another Spellbreak video, as today I want to talk about the potential gauntlet ideas that could be in Spellbreak. And honestly, I'm quite sure that at least one or two mentioned in this video will become as new gauntlets. Why? Because I got this video idea because of a blog post from Proletariat, where in the gameplay section they say that in the upcoming months, we will be adding additional gauntlets and getting a feel for how new gauntlets will impact the overall gameplay feel and balance. So it's confirmed that there will be more than the current 6 gauntlets available at some point in Spellbreak, as for now we have Frost, Fire, Toxic, Lightning, Wind and Earth. I will be now suggesting my gauntlet ideas and try to come up with some sort of attack ideas for them as well, so let's start with the most obvious one, which is... So water being one of the basic elements, I think this one is a high candidate for the game. I believe the reason why Proletariat decided to go with Frost instead of Water is because they were able to adapt more cool stuff to it, which I admit is a quite nice gauntlet, but Water is basically like a melted Frost, so what kind of attacks there could be for it? So for the normal attack, I am suggesting that your gauntlet shoots Water, or maybe some kind of bubble beam that would have close to medium range. Perhaps in a way that it won't be damage-wise that great, but perhaps the bubbles could slow the enemy so it would be a mix of utility and damage thrown together, with a nice balance obviously. As for the sorcery attack, all I'm thinking is some kind of water shark attack, similar to this, um, yeah. <laughs> I think it would be cool to have the ability to send out some kind of water shark that would have semi-fast projectile speed with X damage, as well as the ability to counter at least anything that is fire related. So that's for the water, and the next gauntlet idea that's on my mind is... Grass is also a very basic element, at least in game franchises like Pokemon, but I think it could be adapted to Spellbreak as well. For the normal attack I would suggest some kind of projectile based attack, where you shoot pills from your hands, maybe in an SMG gun like fashion, but the damage numbers would have to be toned low-ish or it will be broken. For sorcery attack there could be some kind of wind whip where you lash this one long whip to either spank the enemies or you could use this as a mobility tool similar to let's say hookshot from Zelda where you lock onto hills or castles and it just pulls you in quickly. Also when it comes to elemental interactions at least fire would obviously counter this gauntlet super hard, just set the woods on fire. The two elements I mentioned at this point, water and grass, are more on the basic side but let's move on deeper as next we have Psychic is an interesting element to discuss about as it has a lot of potential to do all sorts of crazy stuff due to its nature. For the normal attack it could be some kind of psycho wave with a close to medium range. Maybe some sort of laser that would lock on target if you're able to track them well and perhaps it would reward the player with extra damage over time if they can track successfully for longer periods of time. As for the sorcery attack, I think a cool idea will be some sort of psyball or a projectile with a moderate size, range and speed, which upon contact will do low damage but it would confuse or stun the target to crowd control them for a short period of time to compensate the low damage. So now that Psychic has been mentioned, I also need to talk about... Dark is also an interesting type that could be adapted to something really cool as it has potential too. Perhaps for the standard attack there could be a spray type attack which would do damage from shortish range, but the spray would act as an eye distractor or fog that just sits there to block view and will disappear after a short period. For the sorcery attack all I'm thinking is some kind of shadow ball style attack where you throw or shoot this big black ball that would do damage but also all targets effective would lose vision almost completely for a couple of seconds in the same fashion as Nocturne's ultimate from League of Legends works. So some of you probably noticed that I'm pulling these elemental ideas from Pokemon, but come on, they have such a nice variety to choose from, so why not? So, two more gauntlet ideas I can think of that could be adapted somehow to the game are... This may sound more of a niche concept, but Fairy to me sounds more like a support style gauntlet, where it provides low damage but has a lot of defensive benefits. For the neutral attack it could be some kind of neutralizing projectile that upon contact will do low damage, but the catch is that it could deny most of the other projectiles that it collides with, at least frost, fire, toxic and lightning. As for the sorcery attack all I'm thinking is some kind of small barrier that you would summon around you, maybe a bubble that has 10 to 15 meter radius 
and it will take like 50 damage before shattering or players just could walk inside the bubble instead or break it from afar and then attack. Okay, so the last gauntlet idea I think could work in a way or another is Ghost, but I can't really think of any creative ways to exploit this urban type. So I wanna pass the ball to you who's watching and think of some ideas that could be put into the Ghost gauntlet and also other elements or attacks for the elements I mentioned would be cool to hear from your guys if you have any ideas or hopes that what could be put into Spellbreak. So that concludes my video today, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more Spellbreak, please do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for future content. That's it for this video, my name is Apodix and have a nice day.